What's going on everyone? I got a customer that has a back deck. She needs to have some late, she calls it late spring cleaning, even though it's summertime. So she wants the back deck cleaned up and uh, she's got like a broom that she wants to toss away. She's not too sure, but she's thinking about it because the grill's been there. Yeah, since she's moved. So the previous owner had the grill. So it's been part of the property since then. We're going to go ahead and see if she wants to do that, this particular junk removal job, or if she wants to save the grill and get rid of some other items. However, the actual job is scheduled for tomorrow. So later on today, after I take care of some errands, I'm going to go wash my truck. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Then the following day, we'll knock out this junk removal job. So stay tuned, and I'll teach up with you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Good old Rico. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's going to scrub a dub dub. Get a nice shine. And rinse it down. Now the last so rinse it down. Boy George over there cleaning his whip. My truck looking good, baby. She's ready for work. Yes, sir. As George says, back at it again, baby. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Got a nice and clean, man. Ooh, yes, sir. Got that ceramic coating on there. So you can see that deep metallic. Joint too clean, baby. Mm, mm, mm. What's going on, everyone? So, right now, I am on my way to a customer's uh, house. A uh, customer has a few items on their deck that she wants to clean up from a previous homeowner. Previous homeowner stated that you know they'll come back and clean up, but uh, <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> That's all I can say. No worries because Priority Hauling Junk Removal, that's my company coming to rescue them. Head down to this customer's house and um, see which items need to be removed from the deck. Let's go ahead and uh, knock this job out. See you guys when I get there. All right, guys. I am actually here at the location.
I gotta confirm if she really wants to dump this stuff. I gotta double check about that. All right, guys, so you got this bad boy, that, as well as these plants, um, two propane. So that's gonna go to a, uh, it's gonna go to a place to be recycled. Gotta clean this up. Whoa, that right there, that's pretty heavy. And the last item is this bad boy here. Take us two. Stick that right here. All right. All right, and that's it. Clean area. Uh, you know, I think I should get like a before and after, there we go, and there we go. All right, that is it for the balcony. Gotta watch out, because it's, it's a big sticky bush. It's gotta get cut down. It's another service that I can recommend, is to cut down that sticky bush. So what I want to do is get as much stuff up there because I do have another job coming up and that's going to be a pretty big job. <clears throat> Got another customer that has a, uh, they got a little situation with plumbing. So they need somebody to clean up the plumbing job. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Put some weight on that. These bad boys right there, they are going to go. There we go. They're gonna go with me home. All right, for my next job, I'm gonna see if I can uh, just strap them up. I also want to see if I can run to Home Depot, see if I can get some some wood or something, put up some custom sidewalls just for the time being. This thing right here doesn't look too shabby. You know, it's not too shabby. I might have to take this home and just, you know, repaint it. And temporarily let my son sit on it. I got a uh, five-year-old. So, yeah, I do have a family. I'm a, I'm a family man. My father of uh, three. 
that's why that's why I work so hard. Instead I'm working for them to support my family. I don't know. Not to just get rich, but I'm actually working. Support my family. Alright. I'm gonna knock this out and I'll get back with you guys later. Alright guys, that is a wrap. Grill, garden stuff, a uh, little table. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is, but some trash cans, chairs, a little, uh, what do you call that thing? A little patio thing. That thing is heavy. And uh, two uh, propane tanks. Everything is cleaned up out here. Uh, I'm going to pick this up and take it with me. Don't need to leave trash even though i didn't put his hair but no need to you know leave trash in customer's property you know i try to when i leave i try to you know if there's something in the area that i can gather i'll grab it like this grab that yeah. all right so let me uh take some pictures for her as i promise okay so that way she'll see that everything's been cleaned up. And, da, da, da. and send her a picture of this patio. All right. Cool. Everything's done. Head on down the road. Got a beautiful, beautiful, you know, chill area. You know, to sit back, relax, and enjoy her home. Now that all this garbage has been moved, um, which is a beautiful thing. Another beautiful thing about, you know, getting all this garbage off your patio is it uh, cuts down on bugs. You, know, you can't really enjoy your uh, backyard with bugs. You just, it's too, too of a pain. Cause you'll be sitting back chilling, enjoying yourself, and then next minute you get a couple of flies and bees. Then you're running around. Nah, people, people work too hard for that. You know, you work too hard. So it's highly important that you give someone like myself a call. The priority hauling junk removal. If you're in Baltimore, Maryland, and we'll come take care of you. All right, she's good to go. How you doing, sir? All right. How you doing? All right. There we go. Keep that grill from moving. But uh, I can strap it down, but I'm not going too far. Oh, look at that. Got a little spider over there. Let's see if I can zoom up. Yeah, you see that little guy right there? Yeah, okay. It's another reason why I say, if you got junk, give me a call. So you don't have to deal with that. But when I first got here, uh, I guess her male friend was trying to convince her to uh, save this thing. Nah, nah. You, trust me, when you got an old grill that you haven't used, like this is from the previous owner, just get rid of it. Buy yourself a new one. Um, it's it's rusted inside. You've really got to clean it out. And it's probably going to give you a couple more months to year. But, I mean, again, it's got a whole bunch of rust. Yeah, nah, don't deal with it. Don't jeopardize your food. No siree. But, all right, guys, that is it. It's big old Tundra 5.7. She ready to roll. So, chit up with you guys later. All right, guys, that's a wrap of this video. So we were able to stop out to that customer's location and clean up the back balcony area. We've removed some garden items as well as a grill, which the grill and save that for scrap metal. And once we have enough scrap metal collected, then we'll take it to a facility, discard it properly, and plus make a little bit extra change off the scrap. 
But on that note, I'm about to go spend some time with my kids and meet up with my other buddy, Sean, and uh, just pretty much network about the market, you know, stock market, crypto market. Some people will say the stock market and cryptocurrency market is in a down state, but to me, this is the best buying opportunity per se. You know, to have the stock market and cryptocurrency market to be at its low. If you weren't previously invested years ago, this is the perfect opportunity for you to actually invest in the stock market, invest in the cryptocurrency market. The markets will eventually recover and also gain. So you want to be on that upper hand. And the only way to be on the upper hand is to get invested now. I probably roll a end clip of uh, me chilling with my kids and also uh, my boy Sean, uh, his nice clean Lexus uh, GS. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be kind to subscribe and hit that notification so that way you can receive a update. My goal is to upload a new video every week. And once my business starts to grow more often, then I will also upload more content to this YouTube channel. And also, if you're not subscribed to my other YouTube channel, that's kind of like my personal YouTube channel, check out my feature links and you'll be able to see my other YouTube channel. It's called A Word From Mr. Jones. If you want to look at my personal YouTube content to get to know me personally, it's got some IT stuff, gaming stuff, uh, automotive stuff, just a little bit of everything about my life. So subscribe to that channel, A Word From Mr. Jones as well.